Hello friends, Misha Crossing here. Uh, so, I'm playing very early in the- it's not really very early in the morning in real life, but in the game it's very early in the morning. Um, it's 5.45 and I just really like uh, the way the town looks. It looks very misty and foggy and um, a little spooky almost. Ooh, did I- okay, I thought I might have edited those uh, trees too close together last time I was using the save editor, but they're fine. Uh, and, okay, so I plot reset, uh, it was Felicity's house, you know, that I had her move in and was going to replace her with Elmer, but then I realized that since it was just her house plot, uh, I didn't know what the save editor would do if I tried to replace a villager with another villager when it was just in their house plot mode. Um, it kind of worried me, and I had never done it before, so I just figured I'd wait, get Felicity moved in, and then replace her with Elmer, since that's something I've done before in the save editor. Oh, my mom sent me a letter. But then I ended up changing the time back before 6 a.m. Um, before I started playing, because I really like it. Uh, th this morning it looks very nice, um, but since I time traveled before 6 a.m., it technically time traveled to the day before, um, and that just made Felicity go ahead and move in. So she is up there. Uh, we'll go say hi to her, and uh, because that will carry over to Elmer. Once I move Elmer in, he'll like have all the memories of... Uh, oh no, where's Mom's letter? There it is. Of Felicity, except with Elmer's personality and, and everything, and looks, and everything associated with him. Um, but, like, our friendship level, I think, kind of carries over in interactions that we've had carry over. So I want him to think that I greeted him the first day he moved in. Uh, so tonight I'm going to edit, uh, sorry, I'm saying a lot of words to really only say one thing. Tonight I'm going to replace Felicity with Elmer. And then, uh, yeah, greet him today and then go and see him again tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Elmer's gonna be here tomorrow. Darling Misha, it's summer now, so you'll be able to play outside all day, every day, but don't let your studies fall by the wayside, okay? I'm serious. Mom. I mean, what studies do I have? I'm the mayor of a town. I guess I could be studying, like, law or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Felicity is up here. That it is exactly where Elmer's house used to be before he left me. But it's just so early, I wanted to walk around town a little bit. And it is still raining here pretty hard. It started raining like really, really hard and really loud uh, earlier. And I had to take a break from, from filming, but it's quieting down a little bit, but I'm sure you can still hear it some. Uh, it might get loud again though, so apologies if that happens. <laughs> I don't know if I like this dead tree here or not. I put it in there when I was in the save editor. But I do love the Zen Bell. I might just replace this tree with a cedar tree or an apple tree. Um, maybe some bamboo of some sort. I like when people have like chopped bamboo in their town. Like they'll let it get to a certain point of growing and like after another, like after just a day or two and then chop it down. Um, and so it keeps it like the stems, are they called stems? I don't know, uh, are like brown on the bottom uh, instead of green, like fully grown bamboo. And it looks really cool. I might do something like that. So yeah, I really want the Zen Bell like right here. But I do kind of like it down there. But I also might want to do like an outdoor chair or something right there, something a little smaller. Um, and just something to be like right beside the cliff. I think it would look nice. Is that a regular tree? How did that get there? I thought they should all be perfect apple trees. Ooh, big beetle back there. Have I caught that beetle? Let's see. Let's sneak up on it. Okay, now I can't even see it. I'm like looking, tilting my head up to see if I can see it any better. Like a dummy. There we go. <laughs> I caught a horned dynastad. Your era just ended, buddy. Okay, I've already, already caught one of him's. Let's let him go. Goodbye, farewell. 
So long, farewell, Alf Because Alf Wiedersehen. Alf Wiedersehen. Like, I guess that's I'll see you later. But in the song, it's like, Alf say goodbye. Like, that's not the full phrase. Alf Wieder. Maybe Alf Maybe it's just Alf say instead of Alf Wiedersehen. But no, z z S E H E N is C in German, so I feel like it'd have to be that full word. I don't know. Somebody who speaks German or somebody who knows that song really well, you tell me. <laughs> um, yes, let's celebrate the Zen Bell. I don't know if anybody's awake, but let's still do it. <laughs> Nope, just me and Isabel. <laughs> Isabel and me. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Just me clapping for little Isabel. <laughs> We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. We have an incredibly short speech from our very own mayor. <laughs> um, let's just do hooray for everyone. Everybody that's here, look at us. <laughs> All right, let's all, all two of us pull out our party poppers. Pop! Oh, actually, just me. I forgot Isabel doesn't have one. That concludes our ceremony. <laughs> that was cute. I liked it being just Isabel and me. It was a little, a little more intimate, a little personal. Okay, now I am going to, I'm going to delete or remove or demolish. Demolish is the word. Um, <laughs> the, uh, bus stop. The bus stop? No. <laughs> Negative. I'm gonna demolish the hammock, uh, above the river, and I'm going to replace it with the bus stop. Wow, my thoughts are just all over the place. I was thinking about getting the bus stop and slipped and said it. So yeah, deleting the hammock. Public works projects. I would like to demolish one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna demolish this. And then I think the day will technically change here in a couple of minutes. Uh, at like 6 a.m. is the uh, game's start to the day. So I think once it does like the little, you know, good morning everyone, or rise and shine, or whatever Isabel says throughout the town. Uh, it like cuts to that and then it loads and saves. I think the uh, hammock will be gone after that and I can go ahead and put uh, the bus stop up there. Blue Bear's house just looks so out of place up here. I need to replace her as well. Maybe I'll replace Blue Bear when I'm in, uh, when I'm in the save editor replacing Felicity with, with Elmer. Because Blue Bear was just one I scanned him with an amiibo card just to have her move in, just to have somebody move in. Uh, so yeah, I might, uh, might bring Coco or someone into town instead of Blue Bear. Felicity's house is cute. It's not too bad. She's got her a little fishy on the door. Oh, I guess I didn't get to greet her on her first day since it's about to change to the next day. I'm sleeping right this moment. <laughs> Still didn't have time to alter that little Kodama design. Sue me. <laughs> see, what time is it? It is 5.54 a.m. So we've got six more minutes until it's the new day. And I can build that bus stop. Let's see what fishy this- oh wait, no, I don't have my, my fishing rod. It is up by my house. I love the music right now. It's so peaceful. See, I would never actually be awake at this time playing Animal Crossing. I think that- uh, I did play Animal Crossing really early one time. I just woke up with- my boyfriend gets up really early for work. Uh, he either has to be there at- most days he gets there at 6.30. Um, some- sorry, <laughs> I just got distracted. Uh, some days, 5.30, but that's not been too frequent recently, thankfully. But sometimes I just wake up and stay up with him, especially if I have to go to my- my office job at 8 o'clock. It's like, you know, might as well stay awake and just get ready and whatnot. 
But sometimes even when I'm working from home that day, I'll get up with them. Uh, and sometimes I'll just get up and have some coffee and sit down and play Animal Crossing, but I haven't done that in a while since I'm like, you know, recording all of my Animal Crossing adventures. I've been playing, what all have I been playing recently? Gravity Rush 2. Uh, Joey and I normally, we've been playing like all of the PS4 games like together basically, but both of us will kind of play when when the other is is not home sometimes for some games uh, but we played inside which is a really really great game uh, we played that one completely together I'm gonna put wisps lamp away yeah we played that game completely together and we played the first gravity rush we well we did gravity rush remastered for the ps4 I think we each played it a little um, when the other wasn't around. I don't know why I'm explaining all of this. Gravity Rush, now we're playing Gravity Rush 2, which is awesome. Uh, we have The Witcher 3, we have... What else do we have? Oh, we have Star Wars Battlefront, which I, I, I'm not a huge uh, first person shooter gal. Um, they're okay. They're not my favorite. <laughs> so I haven't played it. And it's a really... Just watching Joey, it looks like a really hard first-person shooter. So I'm not really super interested in getting involved in all of that. What other games do we have? I think we have a couple... Oh, we got Journey. Journey was on a, a PlayStation Store flash sale. Um, like, la a couple weeks ago, I think. It was on sale for like $5. And... Joey had it on the PS3, and we had played through it together before. And it's just such a fun, relaxing, beautiful game. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, no, I want to put- maybe I want to put that ruby on the table instead of the sapphire. That's kind of- that was kind of my thought. Uh, yeah, it's so beautiful. And I think those are all the games we have- oh, there's some game that Joey has and I can never remember the name of it. It's- okay, how am I gonna describe this? You're kind of like flying in a- in a circle the entire time basically, but they're like- you're in a spaceship, you're piloting a spaceship, and there are alien spaceships and aliens coming after you. I think I like- honestly? Now that the bookcases are back there, I kind of like the contrast that the green has. Mmm. But no, I kind of like the pink. Ugh. I think I like the pink. I think I'm gonna keep the pink. I'm gonna keep the pink, guys. <laughs> uh, right. Aliens coming after you in their ships, and they're, like, taking humans and, uh holding humans hostage basically and as time goes on they die and so you have to like save the humans and it, everything's very fast and there are like spe special bombs and explosions and stuff that can happen. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. I've played it a couple of times but I'm not great at it. He's really really good at it. Uh, but it's fun. What else? I think we might have gotten one or two other like free PlayStation Store or PlayStation Network. Uh, you know, free games. Oh, I think the ones for February- oh, by the time I'm uploading this, the ones for February are definitely up. But I'm recording this on, uh, February 7th, and I think they might go on the PlayStation Store today? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the 9th. It's either the 7th, 8th, or 9th. That sounds- sounds correct. <laughs> I'm just walking around town enjoying the peaceful morning and waiting for the new day to start. Basically. Oh! Here we go. Hello everyone! It's time to rise and shine! Aww. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that a little bit in this town. Maybe once before. No, I don't think so. Maybe really early on in, in this town. I don't know. Alright, new day! Let me see if the hammock's gone. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine why it wouldn't be, knowing the way that this game works. Yep, hammock's gone. No longer there. Oh, that looks so cool up there. It's just so hazy and peaceful. Okay. 
do I want the bus stop up there? Because since you can see it from right here, I'm wondering how the bus stop will look from down here. I think it'll look good. It can be like... I don't know. A place where spirits wait to be taken to another dimension or another another world or something. I don't know. I'll put some of my little Kodama designs in there. Maybe a, a guy Roy. Oh, we have a camper. Let's see the camper before we go build the new public works project. It'll probably be the last thing I do. Oh, is this Bill? Is his name Bill? Yeah, it's Bill. Hey, do you think it's okay if I camp here for a while? I'm just taking, or just asking to be nice. As you can see, I'm already camping here. I'll just stay here for a little while. Nice to meet you, Quacko. Nice to meet you, Quacko. What a cutie pie. Oh, man. Sorry, I just keep forgetting that I'm in this hazy morning time. This might be when I do my dream address next. Because my house, everything's still kind of uh, dark outside. So it still looks uh, good inside my house. Looks all nice and magical and dark in there, but looks all hazy, just a bit of a glow. It's cool. All right, Isabel, let's get down to business. Kodama needs a bus stop. The citizens are asking for it. All the ghosts, all the spirits. They need a place to be ferried to other worlds. Here are the current requests from townspeople. It's on down here. Oh, there it was. <laughs> cool. Um, I saw, I can't remember whose town it was. Uh, you all might know. It's someone on Tumblr, uh, but they have like a fairy town, which I haven't visited or seen a ton of pictures of, uh, but the put putchers? The pictures I've seen have been really cute, but I saw one screenshot of a little area. It was just a, a little custom design sign, and the custom design sign just said like fairy dust, take one, or something like that. Um, and there were like three little blue pouches sitting around the sign. Oh, let's see what's on the message board sitting around the sign and it was so cute because it's a, it's a fairy town and uh you know the fairy dust i thought that was really cute and i got that gave me an idea to uh okay how big is the bus stop it's two by two or no is it three no i think it's two um let's see what she thinks uh gave me the idea to do something like that in Kodama. Oh, that looks perfect. Uh-huh. Yep, this is the spot. Or should I have I done it one more forward? I don't think I'd be able to plant a tree back there anyways. Basically just say, like, that the bag is some sort of protective... Oh, I could have planted a tree back there if I... Oh, I couldn't have moved it one forward, though, with the way that this river runs right here, it definitely wouldn't let me. Yeah, I don't know if I would necessarily call it fairy dust, but like, um, I don't know, just like making part of Kodama into like, uh, like a forest of lost spirits or something like that, basically, and that you need, you know, this protective uh, magic in order to proceed through this forest and then have like a lot more I'll have like a couple of the Kodama QR codes throughout the town but definitely more um, in that area and maybe either less flowers maybe like a, still a lot of cedar trees and dead trees but like less flowers I don't know but maybe start it off with some sort of like little fairy dust. Not, probably not fairy dust, but like, I don't know. Maybe I'll have my mayor say something about protecting yourself. Um, or I made a dust, a magic dust to protect yourself or protective dust or protection, a protection spell. Yeah, maybe the sign could be like, um, well, it would, one of them would say, 
forest of lost spirits or something like that and then another like just a little bit further up or before I don't know would be like take this protective spell or this protection spell I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna phrase it I'll have to experiment with it she's still sleeping she's still sleeping did I just scare off a really rare bug I feel like that looked like a bug that I hadn't caught Margo Margo likes to check and make sure her water bowl has water in it and it, it, it just like moves it halfway across the floor and clinks on the floor and it's very loud uh, Margo stop I just did it like five times. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm glad that the rain didn't get too terribly loud and, and disturb us. Uh, yay, oh, a mini lullaboy. I like ones with cute names. I want to have ones with cute names sitting around town. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to have an episode tomorrow because I'm not doing episodes um, on Sundays anymore. I'll probably have a Pokemon episode or like a Visiting Your Dream Town uh, video. Something like that. But no episode. And then Monday we'll be doing a full Dream Town tour video of a, a specific town that I choose. And then Tuesday I will be back up with an episode of this series. Alright, well thank you all so much for watching. If you want to follow my other social media links are in the description box. Oh, I just burped. Why'd I burp? <clears throat> you all <laughs> have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And don't forget to be awesome. Bye.